Hi everyone, I'm going to discuss mode of the group data. So in our previous discussion, you learned about calculating for the median of the group data. And in that discussion, we have the so-called median class. So in here, as I discuss mode of the group data, there will also be modal class. Okay, and we denote the formula for the mode by x sub 0 in our discussion. And the mode is equal to the lower boundary of the modal class plus quantity change in 1 all over change in 1 plus change in 2 times i. Where change in 1 or triangle 1 is equal to highest frequency minus above the highest frequency and then change into or delta 2 equals highest frequency minus below the highest frequency and then we have the class size equal to i so let's work on calculating for the mode on the given set of data as our example so calculate the mode of the group data here so the following are ages of 30 high school teachers in Manila. Now, we should know what's the modal class. And the modal class is the class with highest frequency. So our discussion is limited to one highest frequency only. So by inspection, the third class interval has the highest frequency. So we can say that this is the modal class. So let's calculate for the lower boundary of the modal class. And this is the lower limit of the modal class less 0.5. So this is 36.5. And delta 1 equals the highest frequency 10 minus above the highest frequency, that's 8. So this is 2. While delta 2 is highest frequency minus highest frequency or below the highest frequency. So this is again minus 8. So 2. Again, take note that delta 1 is highest frequency minus above the highest frequency. And delta 2 is highest frequency minus below the highest frequency. Since class, the frequency above and below the highest frequency are the same, of course, we'll come up with the same delta 1 and delta 2, which is 2. And I here is the class size, which can be calculated by working on the difference between the highest or the upper limit and the lower limit plus 1. So if we're going to consider the first class, so this is 28 minus 21 plus 1. So this is 8. So substituting the given in the formula, we have the group mode equals lower boundary of the modal class plus quantity delta 1 all over delta 1 plus delta 2 times i. So we have 36.5 plus this is 2 all over 2 plus 2 times 8. So we have, so this is 1 half of 8 is 4 plus 36.5. So this is 40.5 years old. Meaning, this is the modal age, 40.5. So approximately um, among the 30 high school teachers, um, majority has an age near to this um, value since this is represented by a 
class interval. So we consider that this is the age, the modal age. Now, 40.5, if you notice class, is within the interval 37 to 44 because this interval has the highest class frequency. And if you notice that we have made use of this example in calculating for the group mean and the group mode, and we were able to calculate the group mean equal to 40.5, the median as well equal to 40.5 and the mode equal to 40.5. So really, this data is normally distributed such that center value, mean, median, and mode are equal. Okay? So the following are electric consumption of 30 households for the month of April 2021. So the modal class is the third class because this has the highest frequency. And then the, the lower boundary of the modal class is 2001 minus 0.5. So this is 2,000.5. And delta 1 equals highest frequency minus above the highest frequency. So this is 1. While delta 2 is highest frequency minus below the highest frequency. So this is 9. And then our i here is equal to 1,500 less 1,001 plus 1. So this is 500. So substituting the given in the formula. So this is equal to lower boundary 2000.5 plus delta 1 is 1 all over 1 plus 9 times 500. So 1 that's 1 or all over 10. So that's 0.1 of 500. And 0.1 of 500 is 50 plus 2,000.5. So that gives us 2,050.5. So this is the modal electric consumption of 30 household. Now, take note that 2050.5 is um, in between the first and the second class interval. And as you can see, the frequency of the two classes are very close. In fact, the third class is the modal class, but a difference of one frequency only from the second class. So this gives us the modal electric consumption of the 30 household. Okay. And we have here the number of complaints in the last 30 days. So this is a 30-day um number of complaint no from a, a call center company so the model class here is the third class because this has the highest frequency and the lower boundary of the model class is 21 less 0 0.5 so this is 20.5 delta 1 highest frequency Minus above the highest frequency, 4. So this is 12. And then delta 2, highest frequency minus below the highest frequency. It's 4 again, so this is 12. So delta 1 and delta 2 are the same since the frequency above and below the highest frequency are the same. So we got the same delta 1 and delta 2 here. And our i is equal to 10. Minus 1. So this is the upper lower limit 
plus 1. So this gives us 10. So substituting the given, so the lower boundary is 20.5 plus, so delta 1 is 12, all over 12 plus 12 times 10. So this is 1 half of 10, 5 plus 20.5. So this gives us 25.5 completes. And take note that 25.5 is within the third class interval, which is the highest frequency. So I hope you were able to understand how to calculate for the mode of the group data. So that's it for now.